Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. The sigmoid shape of oxygen dissociation curve of hemoglobin is due to heme-heme interaction or cooperativity. There are four heme groups in each hemoglobin molecule. Binding of oxygen to one heme residue increases the affinity of remaining heme residues for oxygen. This is called as positive cooperativity. Sigmoid shape indicates that the affinity of hemoglobin for binding the first molecule of oxygen is very low. But subsequent oxygen molecules are bound with very high affinity. During heme-heme interaction, heme groups of hemoglobin, they do not interact directly. But when oxygen binds to heme, it leads to structural changes in the globin chain surrounding the heme. These structural changes are mechanically transmitted to other globins in the hemoglobin. These changes carry the signal that facilitates the gain of oxygen by other hemes. Significance of positive cooperativity Cooperative binding of oxygen enhances the efficiency of hemoglobin as an oxygen transporter. Due to this cooperativity, only five-fold increase in the partial pressure of oxygen is enough to raise the oxygen saturation from 10% to 90%. Without positive cooperativity, 81-fold increase in the partial pressure of oxygen is required to raise the oxygen saturation from 10% to 90%. Hemoglobin is 96% saturated in lungs where the partial pressure of oxygen is 100 millimeters of mercury. In resting muscle, with a partial pressure of 40 millimeters of mercury, hemoglobin is only 64% saturated. Whereas in exercising muscles, with a partial pressure of oxygen of 20 millimeters of mercury, hemoglobin is only 20% saturated. It leads to further unloading of oxygen. In vigorously exercising muscles, the partial pressure of oxygen is 10 millimeters of mercury where the oxygen demand is maximum and saturated hemoglobin may release up to 90% of its oxygen content. 